<laughs> We're gonna do a no knockdown run right now. I'm kidding. No, I'm just kidding. This is crazy. We'll see how far we can get. I wonder if I can get the soda Pavinsky for tea belly. That would be awesome. Oh yeah. Terminator. Terminator. Thank you. Um. Whoop uh, Soda Popinski's ass? How about that? Who are you doing this for, Dan? <laughs> T-Belly, baby. T-Belly, got you, boys. guys it's your girl jlove81 we are here in southeast game exchange this is sunday so it is the last day for the convention um yesterday was a little bit hectic it was a it was really packed so i didn't want to uh film at the time but we did get a lot of pictures and today we got some panels we're gonna check out and uh, we'll show you the convention so let's go so at this point yeah did not know which way to go first there's so much so many cool deals awesome vendors this table i walked away i spent a hundred dollars at this table this guy's table had amazing deals um his name is mitch and damn i'm telling you three dollars five dollars ten dollars great deals there's some box games here um yeah i really don't collect box games i think i have one which is yoshi that's pretty much it we finally got some ps4 and xbox one games have no interest i could get those anywhere this is all about the retro games that's how i feel when i go to these things um i mainly look for like nes games gamecube uh and nes games especially nes is is my main concern um i do look for n64 games as well and sega genesis games which i did pick up a few here at the convention so this is captain retro's uh section right here so he had awesome deals as well plus that awesome pin pinball machine and uh yeah this is pretty much look at the 32x i haven't yet to own one so eventually i'd like to pick that up as well um but yeah it was just really overwhelming if i had the money and i didn't have to worry about the the trip back home i definitely would have bought a whole bunch of other stuff as well even that dreamcast uh i always wanted a dreamcast as well so i'm gonna have to pick one of those these people are freaking awesome. They, they, uh, I actually got my true lies from them, from Super Nintendo. So they're, they're sweethearts. Um, look at this, 64 games. Yeah, I'm still on the lookout for a couple of those as well. Here we have the tournaments. So they had balloon fights, stuff like that. I really didn't have time to even do a tournament. Um, you know these things go by quickly especially with talking to people and stuff like that so here's some box sega genesis games candy but yeah we're just pretty much trying to cover everything i love goomba look at him up there he always pissed off looking people playing there's a miss pac-man one of my favorite arcade machines um and uh yeah that's pretty much it really they had they had some cool collectibles, you'll see that in a little bit, like the toys and stuff like that. Um, but mainly, I, I, I had no idea which way to go. Look at all these NES games. It's incredible. Everybody was totally just incredible people. Everybody was amazing. They were really nice. And they really were lenient with their prices, really. I mean, if you didn't want to spend full price, they very easily will be like, Alright, well, you know, I'll give it to you for 10 bucks less. So, freaking awesome. Everybody, was, I definitely want to come back next year. I couldn't say that enough. I really want that Mega Man game. I was eyeballing that. But I really don't want to spend 50 bucks on one game. I'm just like that. I'd rather have several games. But eventually, I do have to up my Mega Man collection. I do. I only own Mega Man 2 for the NES. And Mega Man X for the SNES. Pitiful, I know. Zombie Nation was eyeballing that too. Just so much, man. Like, it's, it's really hard to uh, decide what's worth it and what is not, you know? I'm, I'm, for one, like, the most money I spend at conventions, to be honest with you, is hacked games. That is the table that uh, I usually go to. Here we got some toys. 
I love I love things like this. I really like uh, collectibles. We've got some Legend of Zelda collectibles here. Donkey Kong in the bottom. Some Sonic the Hedgehog. Dragon Ball. Never really got into Dragon Ball, but you know it's pretty cool if you're into it. Um, pop figures. I, I was never into pops, to believe it or not. Uh, the pops figures. I like Pixel Pals personally better. Look at this. How cool is that, Kevin McAllister? Didn't want to spend 30 bucks on it, though. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty awesome. Nice artwork here. Oh, man, look at all this. I just, I did not know which direction to go to. I love old figures. Look at the old Ninja Turtles toys. VHS tapes. I mean, this video game cavern, Robin, there she is, the owner of the video game cavern, and her husband, freaking great people. Um... I got my Adventure Island 4. I mean, my Super Adventure Island, sorry. And that's pretty much it. Got some more box games. There's my Super Retro Trio Plus. Fa they had a lot of Famicom games. A lot of uh, Super Famicom. I don't really know much about that. I don't own a Famicom, but that's pretty cool if you do. So I thought that was awesome as well. And you got some plushies. and I actually got a Kirby plushie. So I'll be showing that off soon. But check these out right here. I mean, isn't it interesting seeing that kind of stuff? I love imports. I love to uh, see things from countries that we didn't get here in the in the states. You know, that controller's legit. We got the Atari 2600. Those red sneakers were pretty awesome too. We got the Famicom games, Super Famicom games. Die Hard, buddy. I think of you with these. I definitely do, but. Yes, I did look for Kid Dracula, and I, I was not spending $45 on it. If for that, I would get the NES version. They do have those versions. You can get them on Etsy, um, because I don't own a Famicom, like I said. So, more Sega Genesis games. Yeah, like, th this was an incredible convention. Honestly, it was better than I expected. It really was. I definitely want to return next year. Um... These, uh, I was eyeballing those Nintendo Power Magazines, but it, you had to buy all of them for a hundred bucks. And I did not want to do that because I have two, two of them. So I, uh, definitely want to up my collection for the Nintendo Power Magazines. They're my favorite. These are freaking legit. Look at that. They have, look at the t-shirts, the map, really, really awesome artwork. Me and Josh were there for a while. God. He makes guest appearances regularly. Um, we're going to do a music trivia today, uh, but I'm going to give you guys a few minutes. If anybody wants to ask any questions, feel free. Raise your hand. We'll answer it to the best of our ability. Is this on? Is this thing on? Hey, this would be much better if I use this. <laughs> Plus, my voice won't get strained. Okay, so um, we'll open it up to questions real quick. And if you guys don't want to ask us anything, which is completely fine if you don't, we can play this game, uh, and you guys can. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to. You and you guys can uh, win some free McDonald's toys and stickers. So, I hope you guys have fun uh, and enjoy this. Um, it's all from the NES. Last year I did Nintendo and Sega because I had to because Game Glyph was here. He's not here now, so it's all NES. Um, I tried not to do anything too obscure, so hopefully it's not too terribly difficult. Anyway, with that being said, do you want to ask us any questions? Who are you again? I am Jay from NES Addict. What's up? Just interesting. Uh, how difficult is it to incorporate music into video games? To incorporate music into video games? Yeah, how difficult is that? Uh, I'm assuming it's probably pretty difficult. I've never had to do it because I don't make the music. Um, but setting a mood for the game that's being played is probably pretty difficult, but there's a lot of professionals out there that do a really good job. Do you have anything to say on that? Well, at least whenever he's doing a video, which I'm a total freeloader and don't help with any of the editing. <laughs> right here with the hat. There you go. Yep. Oh my God. This is my favorite music. This is for Solid Eight. <laughs> My name is Brandon. 
don't have to call me the AP Retro Power. I don't know why that bothers but, me. But can I call you that? Huh? Can I call you? You can call me sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're here to talk about reproductions. And for me, they're, that word gets labeled into, like, there's four things that get labeled under reproduction. And I just kind of want to tell you how I define that and the way that I look at it. So, reproduction, the word, the actual reproduction for me is someone takes something like a little Samson and they take a either a reproduction board, so this is like a homebrew board, or they take something like uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, they destroy it, turn it into a little Samson, and then try to sell it as a little, little Samson. To me, that's what a reproduction is. Mm. Then there are hacks. So, um, and I, obviously, I, I showed you. No, here's a great hack. So, an example of a hack is when you take a game like the original Super Mario Brothers, you change it some way and make something new. So this is Super Wario Brothers. So they took the original Super Mario Brothers, they did some level editing, made it insanely difficult, and labeled it Super Wario Brothers, and you can put it on ROM, put it on a cart, and play it. Which one is real, which one is fake? That one is fake, that one's real. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's that's perfect. That's exactly what I was trying to explain. So these okay. labels, and I'll pass these around, are very different. This is Mega Man, $60, $65 game. Um, it's hard for people who are not in this hobby regularly, and this thing is not labeled reproduction label. You can't tell if you're not familiar with what you're looking at. And if you go to a video, I mean, and I even put it in an original NES shell. I had an old... Mario Brothers Duck Hunt that was dead, so I just I got this label from a guy that was selling them on eBay, peeled that Mario Brothers label on, put it on it's an empty shell, obviously I'm not going to make it both of these are empty, so I emptied them both so you couldn't look at the pins and tails but um, for people who don't know, so this is what I was mentioning earlier if you have family and friends who are going to go buy you a game and they don't know what they're looking at they can easily do just by looking at a label it's really hard to tell a difference when you look at the label side by side there are significant differences, but they're close enough for people who are not familiar with it, they will not tell the difference. It could get a little raunchy. <laughs> <laughs> Our panels haven't known to do that. Are you filming me? I don't know if I like that. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm good as shit. So, um, I'm Jay. For those of you who don't know, I have a YouTube channel called The Game Chasers. And do you all, all know who I am? Yes. Okay, yes. I'm going to save my breath on that one then. Um, so no, usually the panels are just a big ass Q&A, so make with some questions. Nobody? All right. All right. We have a friend of mine, Donald, enjoying the Southeast Game Exchange. What was your favorite pickups while being here? Uh, so I picked up, uh, real talk, I picked up Spiritual Warfare today on the Game Boy. Okay. Uh, I love all of that weird, um, like that weird off off uh, unlicensed stuff. Okay. So I always make the joke that if I'm ever gonna find something, it's either gonna be like those Atari adult games, okay, the Color Dreams or the Wisdom Tree stuff, and that would be my entire collection. Okay. But uh, that was cool. I picked up uh, Ninja Gaiden Trilogy and Ninja Warriors too. That was awesome. Yeah. That is an awesome pickup. Yeah, I think I like spent about 160 bucks here. So I I'm gonna try to behave today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, I, I spent a little too much on I, I, I picked, normally I was like, when I came in, I was trying to look for something really dope for the NES. Yeah. Um, because those end up, like, I don't play it as much, but those end up being like a little, um, like a little bit more enjoyable sometimes just to kind of like pick up and play. Okay. Um, because they tend to be a little simpler. You know, I'm like, you're not going to go out and get Dragon Warrior 4 and then try and play. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the difference between like picking up that and picking up like Snow Brothers, totally different. I got to get that too. I don't have that, believe yeah, it or not. Snow Brothers, yeah. Good. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's like sort of puzzly, so. Okay. I'm a big, big puzzle guy too. Yeah, like bubble bobble type stuff. Yeah, okay. I love me, me too. Me too. Definitely got to get the second one, but you know, we all know how much that is now, so. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. No I appreciate it. It was a pleasure meeting you. All right.
Yes. All right, buddy. You take it easy, all right? Hi, Jay. <laughs> Which one? Hi, Jay. You confused me there. We got two Jays. I don't know what to do with myself. Shitty Jay and less shitty Jay. Are you having a good time, Jay? Yeah, except I never like actually spent money at a convention before, so like I'm having a really hard time buying anything. Like, uh, yeah. Frozen was like I don't know where you can buy Yeah, that problem? You're like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, happy game hunting. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you, buddy. Good to see you, All right, we got back in the day gamer here. Did you have a good time this weekend? Absolutely did. All right. Be back next year for sure. Awesome. awesome. I think so too, except for those flying bugs. <laughs> it weren't that bad. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> well, Linda's hiding. <laughs> Are you having a good time, Josh? Great time. All right. Having a good time too, Josh. I'm having an awesome time. This is the best. Weekend ever. It's a really well framed shot. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so. I don't remember me. It's okay. Hi, Austin. He was this is How are you? the man of the hour. Uh, thank you, but nope. <laughs> this was a great convention. I'm having a blast. Good, good. I'm really so. glad. I really appreciate all you guys. Y'all have been awesome. Love, love having you guys promote the show. Thank Girl, you. Welcome back. Anytime. Every time. Oh, we so definitely. This is, year, right? this is our third year. Yep. We gotta come back again. We gotta absolutely. come back. Oh, absolutely. We have a quick year, Even then, we still probably come back. That's true. Well, we're gonna be in a bigger location. Okay. We have more vendors. More, more stuff to do. So cool. We're, uh, we're excited. We're already kind of kicking around some ideas, starting some plans and things. I got the best deals here, by the way. What'd you get? A lot. I must got. I probably got like a good maybe thirty NES games. Wow! Yeah, in that booth right there. Wow! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have gone to this guy and had like five or six. Oh yeah! I spent like almost a hundred bucks here. That's prices. So yeah, absolutely. He's kind of known for that around here. He's been he's been here for the first year, and people know to come visit Mitch's booth. Ah. But yeah. Are you guys doing pickup videos? I am. Hey, I am. Hey, hey, hey. No way. I'm going to be doing a lot of clapping. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot. What's hey. going on? We're here at the Southeast Game Exchange in Greenville. I'm here with JLove81. Uh, we got a show coming up here in Savannah, Savannah Video Game Expo. Real similar to this one. And uh, we hope to bring her down there. And we hope to see some of you guys there, too. All right. All right. So here, this is toward the end of the convention. So we're just uh, looking around really quick. Just getting some uh, last minute footage but that pretty much wraps it up so the convention at this point is ending in like half an hour um, but everybody is awesome there's Jay still game hunting um, but for the most part everybody was super nice they had really good deals people were amazing um, I've never been to a convention that had this many deals like in all seriousness i made out really really well um this table right here everything was a dollar awesome deals